the Jimmy Page mirrored Telecaster unboxing video. Coming up next. Okay, Matthew. Throwback Guitar Lounge views, your viewers, Matthew's behind the camera, the iPhone. It is a big day. At the door today is the much talked about Jimmy Page mirrored Telecaster that we had delivered. We paid for this with I paid for this with throwback dollars, so this is not a free guitar. We're still waiting for the free guitars. It's not happened yet. So we are going to be approaching this as anybody else who had to pay their hard-earned cash for this guitar. So we're going to unbox it. Are you ready, Matthew? Ready. All right, I'm, I'm tethered to this little microphone, so the audio quality may go down, if you're okay with that viewing audience. But got this from Sweetwater. And I'm going to take my trusty pocket knife here and we're going to open it up. See if you can capture the magic. Matthew. As with sweet water, you always get candy for a tooth decay. <laughs> Although, and I will eat it. Um, and uh, packing there, Matthew, you can have that. And let, I'm going to have to wrestle this guitar. Maybe I can... All right, and we are greeted with another box. Okay, pocket knife again. What came on the floor there? I guess that's the oh, that's the bill, I'm yeah, sure. I don't need the bill. Okay. Oh, by the way, anybody who wants a really cool little pocket knife, <laughs> this is a, this is like a little Barlow pocket knife with a bone handle. I believe it's made by, uh, what is it? Great, La Great Eastern Cutlery. I think it's like, the brand name is Lick Creek. But, it's a cool little pocket knife. And I'm guessing that the, you know, the guitar collectors out there, there's gonna be some pocket knife collectors. So keep that just, one. Are you just doing that on, on purpose to delay the... <laughs> just to delay the, the magic here. Yeah, I want, I want to grow, the anticipation to grow. It's like, oh, wait, wait, that's not time for commercial. Oh, so there, I do see a tweed case. Uh, is it lacquered? No. I, maybe it is. I think it is. It is lacquered. Well, that's, uh, that's kind of nice. Uh oh. There's a latch open. But hopefully that's not a problem. Matthew, are you poised to watch the the, uh, the latches being opened here? You're, you're getting cut out of the video. Oh, that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm incidental to this product, I guess. There it is. Well, it looks nice so far. We'll have to play this. Let's uh, let's get it all. So we got the Sweetwater certificate here of uh, 55 point inspection. Always nice to get that. I do like getting stuff from them. They, uh, oh, it has the, the sweet smell of chlorofluorocarbons. <laughs> Adhesives and lacquer. I do like that smell. It does is it nice, pass, isn't does it? It passes the smell test. It does. Yeah, it passes the smell test. Uh, all right. So we're opening this double latch lid here. When, I think we're gonna will we be greeted by mirrors. Let's see. As you may see, they are not attached to that. Oh, we were greeted by Look at that. trippy '70s Ace guitar strap. The required desiccant material. A zip lock, is, is this, uh, do you suppose this was used, is this a, a Fender product here? It contains your mirrors here. So if you're out there and you wanna get your own mirrors, you wanna get the 3M467 MP, 2000 MP adhesive plexiglass mirrors. <laughs> Certificate of authenticity. 
And that's signed by Jimmy Page himself, I believe. I, is either that or his uh, computer? His computer, just a computer. Didn't yeah, I, I think it's. I think it's. I, I'm, I'm shocked it's not real. Uh, coily cable. Okay, so that's nice. Got the keys. And, and the the zip. The, this I'm I'm wondering what is the purpose of this this little uh, bag. Is it just to house the, is this something they used to have in these things? Or is this the, like, is this what Jimmy Page keeps his money in when he goes to the bank? It's like a little shady I think it's a little small if that's what it's for. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, so we got the guitar, we got the stuff here. Matthew, you want to take a quick look at yeah. the uh, actual details? Should I pick it up? Should we do an over, overview? Oh, sure. You, you're in charge of the uh, camera here, Matthew. Oh, boy, you can't smell the sweet smell of nitrocellulose it is strong all right so should i turn it over yeah all right the, slowly uh, oh it's a it's a nice weight I, the nice part of getting from a place like sweetwater is they do you know you do know what the weight is going into it some people prefer heavier some prefer prefer lighter this they said was 7.6 pounds, which is, I like that weight. But of course, you cannot tell. You can't get the magic from weight alone, can you, Matthew? No, we have to. We have to play it. Have we seen enough of this, Matthew? We're going to come back and uh, we'll be in the Throwback Guitar Lounge and we'll show. Why don't you put it on the uh, actual? Play. Should we? That's right. The tr well, it's a good idea. If they, if they follow me closely here all right we're here at the throwback weighing station that all of your pickups and pedals and guitar parts meet one of these two scales we have let's put this on the scale so we're looking for seven pounds six ounces let's see how close we are here i'm gonna guess it's a little lighter than that really yes just a guess Let's find out. Okay, it says seven point seven pounds six point five ounces. Sure. What a disappointment! No, no, it, just, it just went down. It just went down to six. Seven point six. Wow. Well done, Sweetwater. Accurate scales. All right. If it were six point five pounds, it would be going back. No, I'm. <laughs> But it feels nice. It, it does, yeah. Yeah, it feels nice. And what about can the, I, uh, the, the fretboard look? Let's see, I, I'm going to see if I can see how many pieces. I assume this is two pieces. And how does the fretboard look? Does it? Fretboard's nice and dark. You, look, you requested a dark. I, I, yeah, they had a few of these. And uh, I guess there's a window to buy these from now till sometime late summer. I think that's what they that's said. Really and then the dragon one comes out. So, uh, if you want one, one so yeah, they seem to be fairly available right now. This is pretty early on in it, but oh, I think I see this is two pieces that has that has a joint right there. Sure. Yeah, right there. I believe that's what that is. See right there. But anyway, looks good. Nice sort of translucent finish. All right, we ready to check it out, Matthew? Yes. All right, Matthew, that was that was me taking the guitar out of the box. That was exciting. And uh, right now we're going to reveal the guitar in the Throwback Guitar Lounge, and you can see a little bit of it right here, I think. Hanging up there. Right there. It's that, very, very that's, nice. Or is it here? Right there, that's the contour of the horn. Right there. So I will take this off the wall. Big reveal. And this is this... Nice Jimmy Page Telecaster. It's a very, very nice with that guitar. With the white pick guard, I haven't actually peeled that off yet. It's all very pristine. Not quite committed to it. I, no, I actually am. I've decided I like the guitar quite a bit. Well, that's why I was asking you about it the other day. I was thinking, are you going to keep it as a collector guitar? Like, just yeah, I, yeah. Don't, don't play it. Like, just, Oh, no, no, I'll play this. Yeah. Would you play it out? Yeah, I'd play it out. Yeah. Should I go over some of the details of why I like the guitar? 
Yeah, and I think it's a unique guitar. I mean, guitar. I've, I've mentioned this, I think, when we saw it at NAMM. Yeah. And, you know, well, that's the NAMM guitar. I guess the first question, though, is would this make me sound like Jimmy Page? No. No, it won't. <laughs> it won't. It's Jimmy. not going to make me sound like Jimmy Page. You need to get Jimmy Page's hands. Yes, and talent. And the brain, and I the guess. Brain and it's the brain. It's the touch, isn't it? They say it. it's, it's true. It's, yes, I think so. Well, that's what makes guitar fun, because everyone sounds different. Yeah. Uh, you know, I had mentioned why I'm interested in the guitar is uh, is that it's an interesting combination of specs that didn't appear for long, and that would be the ash body and the the rosewood fingerboard. Which is typically, that's not typical you don't find those two I, together generally it's like a small window and then mm. with the the top loading bridge i think that's just 1959 right so you've got that all in one guitar here right and it just so happens that it also has this collector's element because this is also the spec of jimmy page's telecaster prior to the dragon painting mm -hmm. and had the mirrors on it and they came, well, we'll go through what we went through with what comes into the thing. But I'm inclined to never put the mirrors on. Yeah, initially I was, um, I was of the same mindset. But after seeing the guitar. You would really want the. Well, I, I don't know. You just, feel it's missing something. I think it, that's, I don't think it looks so bad. I would, I don't think I'd ever put the mirrors on. I think that that, you know, right now you've got your sort of basic, well, you've got your, you know, this is how it would have come from the. In 1959, it's right there. Lacquer finish, ash body, two-piece ash body, and uh, you know what's not to like. Leave it. I'm, I'm sort of thinking maybe a little bit more nostalgically for uh, for Jimmy just Page. 50 years mm -hmm. later. So the late 60s, and the late 60s, oh. he had yeah. the mirrors on it. That's true. Okay, it's well, a, it's just it's the well, 50th anniversary. Let's of all, talk it's about the 50th it. anniversary of Led Zeppelin One, and okay. that he used. This is exclusively what he used. I don't want the mirrors. You don't want the mirrors I on don't it? Want the, well, I don't want the mirrors. Well, let's just get on with talking, discussing the guitar, okay? okay. Mirrors aside. Okay, you know. sure. Yeah. Yeah, right there. Now, I don't, little... Should I really do this? I mean, once it's on, yeah. you shouldn't even take them off. You can you take think. them off if you don't like them. All right. Well, let's see. Is that about let's right? Because they look a little closer here than there. Yeah, yeah. That's about right. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. All right. What, what do you got for... Um... Oh, there's one thing you haven't shown... Did you show everybody the uh, signature on the back? Oh, let's make sure that's uh, uh We'll do that after we get the mirrors set. Okay. Wait. Hey, All right. Uh, so pick that up. Uh, we let's, we got to get other mirrors on here. Well, let's make sure we're doing this right. Read the... Because uh, I might want to uh, okay. undo it. Uh, mirror placement. Wait a minute. Something here at the bottom. To, uh, war ooh, warning. What? Warning. Installation and or removal of the included glass accessories could damage the finish of your Jimmy Page Telecaster. Fender Musical Instrument Corp. will not be held responsible. I think I hear the phone ringing right now. I gotta go. <laughs> what? I, 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 got the, I got the mirror on. Okay. All right, Matthew. After a little sweating and... Uh, so divine I intervention. I did get it off. Did you get it off? There without destroying it. That's not well, that going to happen again. That was my call was important. That was my mother. Oh. She Did you want a Jimmy Page Telecaster too? She, well, she said, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, uh, I might be getting one cheap. So you just yeah. hold off. Don't buy one. It just, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I would advise don't put the mirrors on if you ever want them off. This is me. Don't do it. So, feature, nice features of the guitar. I have to say first, the, the finish of this, is, the lacquer, is impeccable. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, uh, and it smells great, too. It, it does have that smell. And the um, the frets, perfect, perfectly leveled and dressed. So, you know, the question I think maybe people have with a guitar like this, is the premium price worth it um, compared to something like a... Uh, like an American Vintage. American Vintage, or even like, you know, uh, uh, a Mexican-made Baja Telecaster, mm -hmm. right? Those are great guitars. So, what I my thinking was, you're getting a lacquer finish, 
And this has got the bone nut, and mm -hmm. uh, you've got, the, again, those the peculiar sort of combination of specs. And uh, you've got it all in this one guitar. And so when it arrives, I want to know, beyond that, is it, like, shockingly great? And the answer is, do I feel it, still feel it's a good deal? Uh, yes, I do. You do. Good value for your money, huh? I do feel like I, I feel like I got a good value for the money. Beyond that, though, it, it's uh, it does have a unique feel. You've got so you've got the specs of the guitar as far as Jimmy Page, or as far as you know the '59 aspect of it. But you also have uh, the collector's aspect in that Jimmy Page liked this neck, and it is a interesting feeling neck. It's quite slim up till right about. I don't know, fifth fret or so? Yeah, you see it. And then I, I think right there, it people just, it, it gets chunky down here. So it's an interesting combination of the two. In fact, I compared it against a 60s Baja Telecaster I've got that I really like. And here, down here, the Baja Telecaster is slimmer. Hmm. But it's, um, it's a nice combination of those two, and it is unique. And I, I can see why Jimmy Page would like it. Then you have all the cool stuff that came with the guitar, and it's a limited run. Mm -hmm. So right now it's spring 2019, and from my understanding, the, these are going to be, the production on this stops sometime late summer yeah, of 2019. I think, I think third quarter the, the Mexican Dragon Teller Telecaster yeah. shows up. Yeah, so, you know, that's worth a premium, I think. And I'm not disappointed with the the guitar itself it's it seems you know top quality although i will say there is one error in this guitar oh. and i had mentioned it to you the bridge pickup the pole i'll show a photo of this the pole stagger is incorrect on this guitar pickup bridge pickup but sweetwater i contacted sweetwater who i got the guitar from and they're contacting fender and they assure me i can get the I'll make it right. The the right stagger for that. I th uh, two it, interesting the the top loading bridge. I have never not played Telecaster with the top loading bridge. It is a different sound. Uh, I find it uh, a little more. Did you play you? Have you played this one? Oh, I played it. Yeah, this. No. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Or you you mean, say just, so. Just here. Yeah. Well, just before we did the video, I played it. Oh, so that's the well, only I, time I played it. Okay. Plugged in. You did play one at a store, though. Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. I, I played one that was not set up well, and I will not mention the store. Okay. So I'm surprised that they would put that out on the floor. My impression is, having not put this through the body, the strings, is that this is a, a little more sort of jangly sounding, definitely less sen sensation of less tension on the mm -hmm. strings than if it were through the body. Through, uh, if the strings were through the body, and also the sound of it is more, I would describe it as more diffuse, kind of the individual notes in the strumming, mm. than if it were through the body. A little more jangly this way, maybe a little more chunky sounding through the body. Is my, I'm going to guess. Thanks. Tell me what you mean by diffuse again. I'm curious. What... Uh, well, sort of you have a jangly sort of sensation when you... Uh, pick the note or strum, but the rather than there being kind of a as much of a percussive attack with the picking of the note when it's through top or through the um, uh, top loading, I feel like you get a little less percussive attack and, and uh, the kind of sustain afterwards um, is more diffuse. Hmm. That's the best way I can describe it. I don't know if I'm the only one that has that sensation, but that's how I would describe it. So you would say it has a little bit less sustain than if you had. A I'm gonna body. guess it has a little less sustain, mm. but I'm gonna. I think that I need to do a video that shows this guitar, a b's it with through the body and uh, top loading. Yeah, the feel I'm sure would be different. Yeah, and the sound is going to be different. <clears throat> so let's show them a closer look at some of the goodies that come with this Jimmy Page signature guitar. I think you've got those over there, Matthew. Well, the first thing you get is a big old... The big coiled... Coiled cable. Uh, cable. That must well, be 25, you, you, 30 you, feet. I, I will allow you to remove that from but the bag, take Matthew. that out. It'll all get covered in dust. Yes, careful with the... Uh, 
the thing. Yeah. It's like a. We'll have to put it right in the bag right away and keep keep the collector value. It says fender. This fender on. Nice heavy duty cable. Probably knocks down some of the treble, as coily, coiled cables do. Oh, really? Is that yeah, the, the adds benefit? Yeah, capacitance. Let's see what this is. How to care for oh, your lacquer finish. Oh, how to care for your lacquer finish. Yes. Okay, so what, what do we have here? Just this a simple just little, sort of, little booklet. <clears throat> is this about specifically about this guitar? Oh, no, this is sort just of your... How to, how to yeah. maintain it. Yeah. Get your little hang tags. Hang tags. Let's, let's take the... This curve. is the one you want, though. This oh, has, this no. has the yes. serial number. Yes. Right there. You a get fender a fender sticker. Uh, fender sticker. And you get this uh, little bag. Little bag. Yeah. And then it says it's got the imprinted with the. Yes. Yeah, so you can see the low. The, it says fender on the inside. Let's, like, I'll see if I can. Show that. Everybody will want to see that. Let's see, it says. And then, oh, this is a neat little addition. Okay. They give you a. Uh, yeah, that is a cool. A replica. Ace guitar strap. This is the stained glass version. So yeah. A, those I, are, and you were looking at before we did this video. I thought I, I was thinking I've seen him use that somewhere, and I looked up on the uh, the from on YouTube of the clip when the Yardbirds played in uh, Michelangelo's. Oh no, Michelangelo. Antonioni. An, Antonioni's blow up, 1966 blow up, the movie blow up. He is wearing it appears to be this strap with. Yeah, the guitar ace strap here. Yes, and I'll show a clip of that, and it looks like it's the same thing. And then there's, there's a, and there's images of too. Yeah, there's a just playing gigs. Oh, with other gigs too. With this strap, better, yeah. clearer pictures too. And then what else do you get? So that's a cool addition. Oh, and then uh, last but not oh, least, the mirrors. You get the mirrors. These cute little. Yeah. You eight of Those them. are gonna stay in the bag. Should we try to play, or yeah. I'll play it? You're not going to play this for a while now. Okay, I've learned okay. my lesson. Like, really. All right, well, get uh, get your bass, and we'll play it a little bit. Play the guitar. I'll Did let you like, play it later. Okay. After Maybe this, tonight. Uh, that's right. We have we have band practice band tonight. Practice tonight. So I'll I'll be playing at. Uh, maybe we we'll use some of that in the video. Maybe maybe we'll see. <laughs> with it and I'm going to take or should I start taking oh well this may take a little while but I'm going to take that film off oh really that's, gonna that's come commitment off? that shows yeah you own it uh, that shows too that I'm going to play the thing they have real yeah wear and, and, and but actually well it's, it's coming up right there so there it goes look at that that's right that's right here it's right there as it happens 
It's mine you for can't sure now. It now. Well, I probably could, <laughs> but but you know, I actually I must say I would if you're even going to keep it as sort of a collector's thing, I would take that off. Yeah, I think it would damage. I, I got a I got a uh, one of the st uh, sixty two reissue Stratocasters I had right that I bought off of uh, Reverb a couple years ago. It had it had that film on the back plate there, the trim cover plate, and I peeled it off, and it like had sort of etched the plastic. It still hasn't come off, so, so I, I highly the adhesive has gone into there's it. something uh, there's something with it. I think I could probably buff it out maybe, but I think it's a potential problem if you leave it on. So this might take a little more effort to get it off of here, but I'll do that later. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll edit this down to a manageable size, I hope. And uh, um, if you haven't done so already, please click subscribe. If you uh, want notifications of future videos, click the bell and uh, leave comments and questions below. And once again, thanks for letting Throwback be part of your search for great guitar tone. Mm -hmm.